Sears is filing for bankruptcy after a long, slow decline. Leslie Picker looks at what that means for the chairman and controlling shareholder, Eddie Lampert. Leslie. Hey, Wolf, that's right. For the better part of a decade, Eddie Lampert's name has been inextricably tied with Sears. But at this stage, it's really unclear whether his hedge fund ESL investments generated returns or losses from this very long investment. At first glance, it appears as though a bankrupt Sears would be detrimental for Lampert. He personally holds a 31% stake. His hedge fund owns an additional 18.9%, and he owns a significant amount of Sears debt, not to mention the reputational damage that comes from overseeing a master plan that disintegrated over the course of a decade. But he's been accused by analysts and the media and others of enriching himself as the company has been shrinking. ESL has extended hundreds of millions of dollars worth of loans to the company. Most recently, it's currently negotiating a $300 million dollar debtor in possession or dip loan to keep the company operational as CEO a key way in which he staved off bankruptcy for so long was selling or spinning off assets such as Lands End much of the company's real estate and its craftsman tool line he he has been seeking to participate in the upside of those deals as he still holds a stake in Seritage Growth Properties, the REIT that owns the Sears real estate and owns a majority stake in the publicly traded Lands End guys Leslie, thank you very much for that. Mike, your take on, on the latest here? been a, a slow motion liquidation of a public company, which is very odd to see. Um, I do think a lot of folks, and Leslie gets at this, I mean, we just don't know exactly how much cash money was put up to buy. Came on out of bankruptcy. Then it was the Sears transaction. Um, I, I actually think that uh, it was going in this direction no matter what. It was a bad capital structure for a company, though, with a lot of bad locations. And people forget, we always talk about the Sears piece. There were more Kmart's locations than Sears. So really, Walmart and Home Depot kind of sent this company uh, on its way to a decline long before Amazon came around or even long before, you know, Eddie Lampert was owning it.